trading nowadays imekuwa ni sehemu ambayo kila mtu anaiangalia kama fursa ya kuingiza kipato. Wale wanaweza kum 6 year wanao somo chuo, wale wanaweza chuo a kufanya kazi, watu wazima, vijana. Wote tumetolea macho kwenye kujifunza online financial marketing kwa maana ya forex trading ili kuingiza kipato. Lakini kuna misukomisuko mingi ambayo tunaipitia na video hii na kuletea a uh, process ambazo unatakiwa uzipitie ili uwe trader mzuri ama uweze kufanikiwa kutengeneza kipato ama maisha kupitia trading. Karibu tena naitwa Demani Msef, ni founder of Five Star Trade, YouTuber, blogger lakini pia trader. Kama nilivyosema kwenye video hii nitazungumzia steps ambazo unatakiwa uzipitie ili uweze kufanikiwa kwenye trading. Kipengele cha kwanza ili uweze kufanikiwa kwenye trading cha kwanza ni ku understand basics. Educate yourself, ujifunze kuelewa uh, concept muhimu ambazo zipo kwenye online financial market, kuelewa trading hours ili uwe familia na soko lakini pia kuelewa media players ambao wapo kwenye industry ujue kuna brokers ujue kuna uh, kuna banks ujue kuna market makers but some of the people don't believe that there is market maker kwenye online financial market lakini ku, ku, kuelewa basics ni moja ya kitu cha kwanza kabisa ambacho mtu anatakiwa kufanya ukishaelewa forex nini kina nani wanafanya wakati gani nafanyika nini kinahitajika ili uweze kufanya forex ni rahisi wewe kufanikiwa kwenye hii biashara hata kama umeingia kwa kuchelewa ama umeingia kwa kuhai why kwenye online financial market kipengele cha pili ni kuchagua broker broker ndio sehemu ambapo tunawekeza fedha zetu lakini pia ni mtu pekee ambaye tutamtumia ku trade kwa hiyo tunahitaji broker ambaye yuko regulated vizuri tunahitaji broker ambaye ana platform nzuri za kutumia ku trade ana accepted for ana accepted five yeye mwenyewe ana trading platform ya ambayo ni ya kutumia ku trade lakini pia means of deposit ni withdraw ni nzuri lakini pia je ni za haraka ni vipenge ambavyo tunavizingatia tunapochagua broker nzuri kitu kingine tunazingatia ni kwamba je anatoa huduma kwa wateja pale ambapo pesa yangu itakunichelewa nitapata huduma kwa wateja ya kuni, ya, ya, ya kufuatilia swala langu mpaka nikamilike so ninapokuja kwenye swala la kuchagua broker as me na ku introduce kwa Xness Xness the best broker ever to use in my trading career. Link in my company description like in key enter to xnc.com unaweza ka register kumbuka kuweka promo code ya TMH kwa hiyo vinda hivyo unapokuwa ukiregister account yako ili uweze kupata kwa nyingi na nzuri zaidi. Pengele cha tatu ambacho natakiwa kukielewa ili uweze kufanikiwa kiurahisi ni risk management. Jifunze jinsi ya kufanya risk management. Actually risk management zinaweza zikatofautiana kulingana na na trading strategy. Kuna mwingine ana risk in terms of pips nyingi na kile mwingine ana risk in terms of pips chart. Lakini kinachomata ni kwamba hata kama una risk nyingi, hakikisha percentage of your trading account na your risk at least isizidi asilimia kumi ya amount ya buy upo nayo kwenye account. So kama una trade account ya dola 100 mfano at least risk appetite yako isizidi dola kumi. Hata kama mtadi mtatofautiana kwenye 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 pips ambazo na risk mwingine ata risk 25, mwingine ata risk 30, mwingine ata risk 40. Make sure that uh, the dollars ambayo unatumia high at the percentage of your trading account. Kwa hiyo risk management ni kitu muhimu sana ambacho unakihitaji ili uweze kufanikiwa kwenye trading especially online financial markets. Kitu kingine ni kudevelop a trading strategy. Ndio tunajifunza, tunaelewa lakini sio kila kitu ambacho tunajifunza huwa kinafanya kazi. Kwa mfano mimi nimejifunza strategy nyingi tofauti tofauti nimejifunza maswala ya valuation points, nimejifunza maswala ya demand and supply, nimejifunza maswala ya Falco, nimejifunza maswala mengi sana. Lakini nimekuja ku realize kwamba sio vitu vyote nimejifunza mpaka maswala ya kinyume na buy strategy. Kile mwa QMC na vitu vingine. Lakini nilicho kunye kuyelezi ni kwamba sio kila kitu ambacho unajifunza kita kupa kwenye trading kerea yako. Kwa hiyo, unapu kikuwa unajifunza na kufanyia mazoezi kila ambacho unajifunza kudevelopu your trading strategy ni kitu ambacho kinaitajika na michamu yungu sana. Hawu ni hundi develop your trading strategy. Unachotakio kufanya 
ni kuchukua vile ambavyo vinafanya kazi kwa maana ya kutesti kila kitu ambacho unajifunza na kuchukua kila ambacho kinafanya kazi unakiweka pamoja na kuondoa kila ambacho hakifanyi kazi kwa maana ya kwamba mfano ni trade QML mara moja mara mbili mara tatu lakini katika matokeo yake imenipa ki, matokeo kidogo tofauti na nikitumia masuala ya liquidity ama ama liquidity na na, na, na imbalance na vitu vingine kama liquidity and imbalance giving me a uh, good payout it means that it don't don't meet masuala ya QML ama masuala ya QMS lakini kama QML na QMS zinanipa matokeo mazuri kuliko a uh, smart money concept ni maana yake mimi naenda kwa meet smart money concept kwa hiyo hii develop strategy Uh, tuna tumejifunza tume, kwamba na uh, watu wamekuwa wa develop strategy kwa kufanya mazoezi vile vitu ambavyo anajifunza na kutamu mtu mwingine ame succeed kwenye kutumia indicators tu ambazo wengine wanazisarau na kutamu mwingine ame succeed kwa kutumia strategy ya supply and demand peke yake mwingine ame succeed kwa kutumia smart money concept kwa hiyo huko ndo tunaoita ku develop your own strategy katika vitu vyote ambavyo unajifunza chukua vizuri acha ambavyo alifanyi kazi kwako. Kwa hiyo unamejifunza kitu vingi lakini umedevelop na kuchukua vile vitu ambavyo vinafanyia kazi vinafanya kazi kwako na kunifanya leo kesho kesho kutwa kwa muendelezo na kufikia malengo yako kwa uzuri. Kipengele cha tano unachotakiwa kukielewa ni kwamba hakikisha una kuwa informed every day. Ninaposema kuwa informed every day ama ku stay informed every day na namaanisha na kwamba hakikisha unafuatilia fundamental day by day hakikisha unafuatilia economic event ambazo zinatokea duniani kwa sababu economic event ambazo zinatokea duniani zina affect uchumi inaweza ikawa sio kwa ujumla lakini ina zina affect uchumi inategemea na tukio limetokea sasa kwa hiyo unapokuwa informed unakuwa na uelewa kwamba according to hiki kilichotokea sasa plan a uh, price frani ita inaweza kufanya kitu frani price frani inaweza kufanya kitu frani kwa hiyo unapokuwa informed inakurahisishia wewe kufanya uchambuzi wako wa soko kwa urahisi kwa sababu you are informed kwenye kile kitu ambacho kinatokea kwenye soko wakati huu hapa siku hiyo so stay informed kama unahitaji ku succeed kwenye this i mean kwenye industry ya trade kipengele cha sita ambacho ni kigumu kwa kila mtu ambaye yupo kwenye trading industry ama kwenye forex industry ni patience lakini pia discipline. Ninapozungumzia patience ni ni uvumilivu lakini pia ninapozungumzia discipline ni za ah sio kila opportunity unayopata sokoni utaichukua lakini sio kila maamuzi unayokuwa nayo akili mwako lazima kuyafanyia kazi. Kuna wakati unakuwa very stressed ni kipindi ambacho unahitaji discipline ya hali ya juu kwenye kufanya maamuzi. Usiingie kwenye usiingie ku take trade kwa emotional decision ambazo zitarizat uh, zitarizat kwenye bad decision at the end of the day utaanza ku take trade pasipokuwa na mpangilio wala pasipokuwa na kufata kila ambacho umejifunza. Kwa hiyo patience na discipline ni kitu cha muhimu sana kwenye trading. Kwa hiyo epuka kufanya maamuzi ambayo hayaeleweki lakini pia kuwa mvumilivu kufata kila ambacho umejifunza kama strategy yako inasema bwana you must wait for the price to retrace wait for the price to retrace usi jump into the decision ya kwamba ah naona kama ina retrace ngoja nisindikize what if isipofika chini kiongea pale pale so wait until kila ambacho umejifunza kimetokea ndio unafanya decision kwa hiyo una patience lakini pia umefanya decision at the right time patience na decision ni kitu muhimu sana kipengele cha saba ni to keep your trading journal kuchukua rekodi ya kila ambacho unafanya. Kuchukua rekodi ya kila ambacho unakifanya sio lazima uwe na notebook. Nowadays tumeenda tu kwenye dunia ambayo ina badiliko makubwa. Kuna groups ambazo unaweza kuzitengeneza na sawa pale tu kwako. Ukawa una take analysis, unaiweka kule, result inapotokea unaichukua na weka kule. Then unakuwa na time ambayo unaipitia ile journey yako kujifunza. Kuna kwamba hapa nilifanya hivi trade ka ETSL nini nilikosea kwa hiyo kuwa na trading journal ni kitu cha muhimu sana kwenye trading na unapokuwa na trading journal itakusaidia sana ku develop your trading strategy 
kudevelop kile kitu ambacho kinafanya kazi kwa upande wako. Kwa hiyo kukua na trading journey ni moja ya kitu muhimu sana ambacho unahitaji ili kufanikiwa kwenye safari ya trading. So keep your trading journey. Unaweza kuwa hata na Telegram group ambayo kwa wewe peke yake. I recommend I recommend Telegram kwa sababu pia inatumia sana. I have my own private group ambako na kuwa na post analysis zangu na post results zangu. Kwa hiyo siku nimetkaa nimetulia hizo siku ya Jumaa ama Jumamosi ama Jumapili ambayo nimetulia kabisa sana sasa. Let me go and, 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 and check what I did last week, what I did too. I mean previous two weeks. Kila ambacho nimekifanya previous two week nikifanyia revision. Kila ambapokuja kutoka kwenye market kama kilikuwa na positive result, it means that I'm going to uh, uh, implement it effectively. Lakini kama kilikuwa na negative result, naenda kukiacha na kujifunza kwamba nilikosea same plan inatakiwa ni any kitu plan. Lakini kipengele cha mwisho kabisa ni kujifunza kutoka kwa experience the trade. Uh, to learn from experience trader ni moja ya kitu cha muhimu sana lakini tuna changamoto kubwa sana. Most of uh, the experienced trader ambao sisi tunaamini ni experienced trader kumbe they, they, they just faking to us. Though ni ngumu ku, kuelewa na nini lakini mimi natumia vigezo viwili kuelewa hapa. Kigezo cha kwanza ni huyu mtu ana uwezo kuelezea vitu most of the time waga na enda kwenye YouTube channel za mfano zeni wa RS ama sio azeni mkabitu ukiingia okay, kwenye YouTube channel yake ukaangalia the way ambavyo anaelezea vitu you love to learn from him kwa sababu anaelezea vitu kwa kina hata unapokuja kukifanyia kazi unakuwa umeelewa kwa hiyo kama ana uwezo wa kuelezea vitu deep, deep in that way YouTube it means that hata kama nikimpata private anaweza kanipa kitu ambacho ninataka lakini pia mtu mwingine ukienda kumwangalia kan kwa maana very hard youtube the way ambavyo you are explain things deep into the market unaelewa kabisa kwamba this guy is serious from what he's doing lakini kitu cha pili vitu ambavyo anavitoa free kabla sija enda kujifunza kwenye premium nani yake hivi vitu alivyotoa free je vinafanya kazi so those are two test ambazo unazifanya ku qualify our experienced trader ambao anataka kujifunza kwa kwa hiyo kabla ya kwenda kujifunza kwa mtu you have to know kama hata anaweza kujielezea mwenyewe kama mtu aweze kujielezea mwenyewe hata kama ukienda kujifunza kwake nini atakufundisha because nowadays this industry imekuwa na a lot of xp out there do what on the kind of success in public but behind they are not even trading sometimes to learn from an experienced trader is much much important thanks for watching guys i'm the man himself before i say goodbye i recommend you to use xness xness.com uh, when you join in remember to use the promo code t m h small capital letter See you next time, guys. Bye.